if I had to change anything about Poetry Slams, I'd probably include more weird ones. Like, I like Poetry Slams that are like serious and actual competitions and stuff like that. I think they're very useful and vital to the scene. But like, I also like the, the idea of like the Drunk Slam and like the Nerd Slam. I'd love to see um, the scene become wide enough so that you could actually say we're going to have um, a, a really good night of romantic poetry and, and we're going to pick out of, of that so that you're actually comparing more like with like. I want to see more variance in themes and styles across Poetry Slams. Uh, the main problem is that people who have watched a lot of Poetry Slams online and have realised that there are certain types of poems that win more often and those are normally political or very very sad personal pieces and whilst those pieces are completely valid and completely fantastic um, there needs to be more variance, there needs to be more people just writing about things that make them happy. There needs to be more joy in the poetry world. There needs to be people just writing silly poems about things that don't matter, um, like fish or pencil sharpeners or going to the zoo. There just needs to be more difference across the board. I'd like there to be a little bit more recognition of the differences between slam poetry and other forms of poetry and how they both contribute in equally important ways or that sort of a that kind of a mindset rather than an either or uh, mentality which a lot of poets seem to have um, currently. I would love to see a poem win a big slam competition that was 30 seconds long. Um, a poem that is short and punchy and you know hits in a particular way and also a poem that is maybe just read off the page at a slam. I'd really like to see that win. Yeah I don't like specific time limits because it means that Obviously, you understand it in terms of like a functional thing, you know, the night can't run forever. But when there's a three minute time slot, um, people tend to write for three minutes. Whereas if you can say your piece in 20 seconds, 30 seconds, then that will get less, uh, it will get less attention or less points or whatever. Similarly, if you want to say your piece and have it as a six minute piece, you won't be able to do that either. It sort of, it skews once again to a certain style of poetry. I wish that I don't know, I wish that it weren't so formulaic. Um, I wish that people didn't feel like they had to do, you know, a funny poem first round, political poem second round, trauma poem third round. You know, it's, it sounds quite cynical, but there is a formula for winning slams. And sometimes it makes going to slams really, not boring, I would never say that, but you know what to expect. And I love it when people go to a slam and do something totally out of the blue. Um, I mean, slams have been around for 30 years now, and I think it's it's time that we really start looking at innovating beyond what's normal. Personally, I don't like slams where there is a pre-set panel of judges. I prefer audience voting, or like slams where the audience votes, because I think they're just a bit more authentic, and I feel that if there is such a thing as slam syndrome, it's more prevalent in slams where there were a pre-set panel of judges. So I guess I'd, I'd make more slams based on non-poet voters and audience member voters rather than a panel format, I guess. I think it would be useful to have um, a panel rather than random members of the audience because how can you police whether or not they know people? Like, I've been to quite a few Sams, I've never been able to be a judge because obviously I know somebody that's um, competing. I think it would be interesting to have a panel and have feedback. I think if you're going to put your poem up for a competition, and you want to win, you should be ready to actually take some critical feedback. I think pre-picking your judges who have got very clear categories what they're all looking for, so they're all following a similar pattern, because one guy might go, you know what, that poem was so well written, there was loads of metaphors and stuff I didn't get, that's, that's incredible. Somebody might go, mm, a bit boring, I'm a bit drunk, that was funnier, 10. I, I, I think the one thing I sometimes feel is that the picking the judges from the audience Sometimes it's a little bit unfair on the poets because when it get, not when it's just like a basic slam, but when it's a title, I, I feel it a little bit difficult to be putting to the vagaries of people who may be a little bit drunk or have a lot of their own um, sort of prejudices which they bring to it. I think if we could get some way, especially in big slams, I feel like in smaller slams, the audience judging is really like communal and really nice to just have like a random audience selection holding up numbers is kind of, I want to say sweet. I think it's, yeah, it is nice. And it feels very like people-based, like the voice of the people. But when you get to like a bigger level, like 
like BBC or like something like uh, Royal Albert Hall in January. I think when you get to that level where the winner will literally have like their lives changed, I think the judges need to be maybe more reliable. Um, but also I don't, I think that kind of like also invalidates the whole like audience thing. It's like, it's, it's, it's hard to work it out, but I do think it's an issue that maybe doesn't have a clear resolution. Ideally, I think you would have each individual person in the audience submit scores for each poem and you would add those all up so that you could genuinely get ideas from everyone because it's so subjective and you just don't know. But um, honestly, it's, it's especially in Edinburgh, it's so supportive and it's so much fun and you get tons of diversity. So I, that's really the only thing I would change is the judging. I, I don't know. I, I feel the, the aspect of judging poetry flaws that there's always going to be people who are competitive. There's always going to be people who want to win a slam. However you, however you game a slam, there will always be people Sounds weird trying to win a slam. That's what all people do slams. But trying to, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how I'd change it. I, I don't know. Maybe allow props. I like props. It has a lot of potential. Prop poetry. It really does. I feel like if you change anything, then you might be detracting from the poetry slam thing. And yes, it has pros and yes, it has cons. But that's the way that it is. If I could change one thing, it would just be to be able to have more amazing poets and poetry slams. No matter what you do, I feel like there's always going to be something either, something that people want to change. There's nothing completely fair in this world.